Hi everyone, Sue's Journal Adventures here. Um, we're using an envelope tonight again. Um, the reason for this video, this is for absolute beginners. It's not a difficult project. It's really, really easy. Um, and you don't really need any special stuff. The only special thing I might use is a bit of ribbon. Um, if you have any stickers or little butterflies, paper butterflies cut out of a book um, or any nice little images that you might have cut out of a magazine, use them. So anything you can cut out of a magazine or a book. So all you need is an envelope. Um, I'm using tonight for my decoration because it's for beginners. I've got a red envelope, so I'm going to use some of that in my decoration um this was a <laughs> this was a big goldy colored envelope i've kind of cut that in half because that's that's going to be my base for something so a couple of colored envelopes if you've got them if you haven't got them you can color them yourself with food coloring or if you've got any inks um i've just got some wrapping paper here which i think goes really nice with these so that's what I'm using and an envelope. Um, shove that cut piece to the side. So what we're making, <coughs> excuse me, I'm off again. <coughs> what we're making is very, very simple. It's it's really not a hard project at all. My desk is terrible. Um, so I'm gonna cut this, probably try and aim for the similar width as there. But you know my aim and my measuring is pretty bad. But I'm going to go for on the line. So I'm going to say about there. So that's all you need. And I'm going to obviously take the dodgy top off. Which in this case kind of takes it down a bit. Yep, same size, it's fine. So what we're actually making, I will show you so that you know where we're going. Right, so what we're actually making is so simple. Um, and I'm not too bothered about the inside because I'm just not. So, <laughs> so ironically, the, the bottom of envelopes is sealed. I'm just going to unseal this. Why did I unseal it? I can't remember why I unsealed it now. But I unsealed it for a reason. Oh, I know. Yeah, I do need to unseal it. Um, <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> I'm forgetting how I did it now. I'll just show you what we're going to make in a minute. But I'm just opening. Sorry, can you see me? I'm just opening the very bottom of the envelope. And we can glue that down again. And I know I'm making a bit of a fluffy mess here. It's okay. I will just trim a very slight bit off that. The reason I'm opening it up is because... I want to take this off. Now, if you've got some of this lying about in a bigger piece, fine, use it. If you don't, you don't need to worry because I didn't use it on this. So this is what we're making. It's a beginner-friendly, very, very easy project. Um, as you can see, it's just this, this part of an envelope. Um, and all I've done is decorate it and make a big giant journal tag for it. So the journal tag was made out of some packaging. Um, it was a, when you get them kiddies paper packs, it was a piece of card telling you what's in it. That's all that were and I've just stuck some pretty paper on the front. So this is all we're making. As you can see, I haven't decorated the back of my envelope. I haven't got any acetate in there. You can put some in if you've got some, but if you haven't, you really don't need to worry about it. So it's a very simple project, like really super simple. But the first thing I'm going to do is take this out. If I can get it out, the other day, that one didn't want to come out of that one. Very bizarre. Oh yeah, it's doing it again. It's peeling off in like little strips. It's very bizarre. So I'm taking this out because as you can see, that window is a lot bigger. 
and that's what I want to do. So I'm just going to take this. I'm probably better doing it on the on this side. So I'm just going to cut straight down to about there. Straight down. Straight down. Oh, don't crease me, don't crease me. Straight down to hopefully the same size. And, and then I'm going to try and go along in a straight line. I'm trying to follow the pattern on the envelope to give me a bit of a... There we go. So all I'm doing is making the aperture bigger. That's all. And that's so simple. Anybody can do that. These corners are a bit rounded and these are not. Does it matter? Can you even tell? No, because I've got lace on there. Um, if you haven't got any lace, you can use ribbon, you can use washi tape, you can use cut strips of paper that you might have. If you've got any bits cut off the end of something like that, you could stick that round. This is going to be my tag. So at first I was going to decorate with this, but I thought, well, I've got all these book pages. Why don't we just use a book page? Because I'm pretty sure, you know, even a beginner will have a book page somewhere. So we're going to decorate with a book page. So I've got that out. And all I'm going to do now is I've got some book pages in my ready book. And you don't need them to be stenciled. You don't need them to be inked. You don't need them to be stamped. You just use what you've got and decorate however you can. I happen to have some stenciled pages in here some kind of oh that's pretty it's not the right colors for this though is it mm, i don't know it's not bad but do you know i knew as soon as i started crafting one of the there's only one cat in two of them are out but i knew as start as soon as i started filming that it start me out Oh, it's got a bit of a way to go yet, I'm afraid. So, there's some other pages further up. Let me have a look. I mean, I can just do it with a plain one. I can just do it with a plain one and fancy it up myself with whatever. Stickers, stamps, pens, whatever. Ooh, I like that one because this has got some gold on it. Have I got a stenciled one there? Uh, I don't know, have I? I've got loads of stenciled ones somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where. There's not only them down there, there's more than that. There's way more than that. Oh, oh no, that was the first one I looked at, wasn't it? That's blue. We don't want blue. That's black and brown. Oh, there's just brown. Oh, guys, do I go with that one or that one? See, this has got gold in it, so I'm very tempted to put that on. I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to go with this one because I'm trying to keep it sort of plainish and simply. Because the inside, the tag is very exuberant. There's a word for you. Is that even a word? Exuberant. Did I say that right? Anyway, whatever. <laughs> because the inside is very posh. We're just going to have the outside plainish. So I need my ruler. And what I did was, I do believe if I've done it the same, which I obviously haven't. Oh, golly gosh. They were all exactly an inch on the last one I did. Amazingly, I cut it out by hand and every single bit was exactly an inch. I don't even know how I did that. But this has to be awkward because this is... Um, an inch and a bit and an inch and a half and oh my goodness oh, three quarters and yeah they're all different so that just makes it a little bit harder for me thank you very much because all I did before well I'm just going to do it on here actually all I did before was I measured off three inch sorry four inch pieces of paper which I can't do this time so I'm just going to measure it on here so I need one that wide from there from there I need one that wide and from there I need one that wide 
Oh, go away, Charlie. And from there, I need one that way. So I will get all my decorative pieces out of this one page. So I'm just going to tear them. Yes, I am. Move them out of the way. No room on my desk. No room. All right, let's see how this goes. I always put it the other way because it's just nearer without the cork. Um, I didn't get them amazingly straight last time, but um, well, that's not amazingly straight, is it? It's not straight at all, but anyway. Most people would line it up on the grid, you know, but me, I just, I just go for it. I don't even know if it's straight. Right. I think I'll hold that a little bit tighter this time. There we go. <laughs> and then that one. Have I done? Oh, yeah, that spare bit. I'm going to say, how have I ended up with so many? <laughs> I only need four. Right. Let's tear. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. And let's do another tear. Oh, go away. Go away. I'm not interested, Chaz. You've been in and out. In and out, in and out, being fed. It's raining. They make my life a misery when it's raining. Because they don't want to go out, but they want you to go to the door ten times to just make sure it's not raining still. Right. So, because I've cut my aperture, I can now glue this down. Hopefully, with my new glue and my new nozzle and, oh my goodness, and a little bit of acetate in it to thin it. Oh, oh my days. Oh my giddy aunt. I've got thin glue, guys, that comes out. Can you believe it? I can't. Can't you believe it, Charlie? No, I can't either. No. I know. I don't know if you can hear my cat, but it does answer me, actually. Charlie? Hello. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but he actually sounds like he says hello. Hello. Hello, Charlie. Hello. It's no, Mum, you've got that camera thing going. I'm not performing for you when you've got the camera on. Never do, never do. I think I've just um, might have put a really thin layer, <laughs> thin layer of glue and glue, glue, and just chopped it off again. Right, so there we go. That's that bit done. So I now have my pocket. There we go. What do you want, Charlie? Whatever you want. You're not getting it right now. Um, so now it's just um, sticking, sticking bits of paper on. So I think that's that side. I think that's that side. Doesn't really matter as long as they fit. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Why cats are sent to bite me, honestly. They just, oh, I did it with, um, God, I can't see it again. <laughs> Pin back in the old, dear me. I did it with um, this last time. So I'll do it with this again. And I'll have my glue thing because I will make a mess, as we all know. So I'll just do it with this. If I need to stick any edges down later, I will just um, re-stick it. But yeah, this is like a very easy project for beginners. It's not a difficult pocket to do. It's just cutting an envelope a bit bigger, sticking sides down, sticking some pretty paper on and making a tag for inside. Um, not difficult at all, really. So glue this side. Just make sure you get your edges. It's like the main thing really so that can go along there i'm going to actually overlap it this time i did it under the two sides before tucked it under but i'm just going to go across it it doesn't really matter doesn't really matter so if you don't have inked paper or you don't have stenciled paper you can just use a plain old book page nothing wrong with that 
like I say, use what you've got. And if you want to pretty the paper up and you've got some nice wrapping paper left over from whatever, <clears throat> you can always like just cut a random flower out of you or whatever, whatever your wrapping paper is. If you've got any wrapping paper in your house that's left over, you can just cut something out of the pattern to use as dec decoration. <laughs> Can't speak again, guys. No one knew there. It's always the same. Crocky throat and can't speak. It's that. So, there we go. Right. Let me just chop them off. Chop. 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 Oopsie. I think I've got a bit of envelope there. Don't worry. Um, <clears throat> so there we go that's pretty much done how did I miss that bit there and that bit there oh no they're in a bit there it's just I've not gone right up the top but again it doesn't matter right so that's basically your envelope done this is my top that looks odd there and it does because there's still a bit hanging off so there we go Right, so that's my outside of my envelope done. Apart from for me, and you don't have to do this, I oh, am stuck up with glue already. Can you believe I've been on here all of, what, five minutes or something? Um, I'm just going to, because I have these um, supplies and I like inked, I'm just going to go around the edge. You don't have to. And if you want to, you can do. If you've got any old eyeshadows, um, get some eyeshadow out. Or any brown boot polish. Um, anything really like that you can use. I've never used boot polish myself. I don't know what that works like. But I have heard people say they've used it and get the same effect. So... Why not? Choose what you have. Oh, good grief. Right. So, so gluey. Right, so this is my pocket. I'm not, obviously, because I've sealed it up, I'm obviously not putting um, acetate in the background. Just going to make sure that can stick down because that's damp. So, there we go. I think I might pull that off just because it's annoying me. Right, so... As far as this goes, I was going to, where's it gone? I was going to just put a bit of this round. I don't know whether to actually do that. To just put a bit of um, ribbon round. Why not? We don't use ribbon very often, do we? Well, I don't. <laughs> I'm reverting back to the big old bottle. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, that's if I can get the lid off. It's obviously going to be gunky then, isn't it? Obviously. Oh, how could I expect otherwise? Oh, my days. This is what happens when you try to wipe your fingers in the bin. Oh, seriously. <laughs> and it still doesn't all come off anyway. So you're still left with a big gluey finger. Right, it's gone now. And now I've got a blob coming out. Oh, do you know what? Forget it. I'm not even going down that route tonight. Sit over there in the corner. You're in the naughty corner. Get over there. I'm going <laughs> to stick it pin to myself now. I'm going to go with this because I just think it's going to be easier. I hope it's going to be easier. Right. So. Um, I'm going to go just slightly over the edge because I cannot. Whoops. I can overlap it. Go there. So yeah, don't just use what you have. Don't worry about what you haven't got. Just use what you've what you have got. If you've got um some packaging and it's got like a nice edge on it, just use that. You can use anything in junk journaling. Absolutely anything. I've added some acetone to this to make it a bit um 
It's very slidey, that's all I can say. Very slidey. So I don't know if it ascertains, ascertain, acetone is a bit maybe bad for your skin, I don't know. Because I get this blooming glue all over me. But I'm now thinking, do I need to be just a little bit more careful with this one? So down we go again with this one. Take this right up to the edge. Tell you what, it's so nice to have a little glue that it comes out of though. Wow, that's actually amazing. Charlie, be quiet. <laughs> Cats. Oh. Right, oops. Right, so that is basically my pocket done. I can add to that and I probably will add to that with something. Maybe just one of these circles that I've got here that I punched out with something the other day and a little flower on it. Who knows? Maybe. Actually, that quite goes with the um, pinky colour in there. <laughs> well, that was a stroke of luck. Okay. So I'm just going to put that aside for a second and I'm going to make my tag to go in it. So I need my tag to be not quite as wide as my pocket because obviously you've got a sealed side and you've got a glued side. The glued side normally squelches in a bit. So I'm hoping that fits in okay. Let's have a look. <coughs> oh, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Really? Let me try from that end. Um, it slides in fine. How far to the bottom does it go? Okay, so I need to cut it off round about, well, I'd say there, because I had it stuck out a little bit on the other one, but you don't really need it sticking out. And I'm just going to tear it because I can't be bothered getting my guillotine again. Can you all see me okay, yeah? Because I've put you quite high up today. Because <laughs> I noticed on one of my videos, you were quite low. And when I were working over here, you couldn't, quite see what I was doing. So this is going to be my tag, but it's an envelope. So it's a little bit flimsy. Flimsy. Um, so I'm just going to get a bit of packaging. Packaging? Come on, packaging. I've got loads of packaging in here. Give me something. Um, I pretty much want something that's plain on one side, though. Um, oh, typically, the packaging that I've got out it's not right, but never mind. So all I'm going to do is, oops, stick this. Hmm, okay. Okay, it's just going to be like that, is it? Oh, so actually that's green. I don't want green. Have I got another bit of packaging or a bit of card? I should have tons of packaging, but I want some that's white on the other side. Oh, there you go. That will do. Um... <coughs> So, I'm just going to glue this down, she says, but it's got that bit on the back. Oh, should I leave that? No, it's a tag. It's a tag. So, I'm just going to get this off in the envelope. <laughs> I can write things here. Right, and I'm just going to stick this onto this white card, just to give it a bit of um, stability because this is just this envelope's just paper so it needs to be a bit stronger oh, don't even think about falling on the floor super gluey that's what is going on here super gluey right put the lid back on that i stick this on here, preferably not with that big blob of glue there. I'll just stick this on and I'm going to trim the very edge off So, because obviously it's not neat. But there's my gold bit. Squeeze up, squeeze up. I am going to get the guillotine in the end because <sighs> I want it to be straight and I don't cut straight. So... 
here we go. So this is my tag. So this is a very easy, easy project. Nothing hard about it. It's just get a bit of packaging that's plain on the back. Like it could be a cereal box. It could be a biscuit packet or something. I don't know, whatever you've got lying around. I'm just going to take the very slither off the edge. And there we go. That's my tag. That is my tag. It's not actually a tag, it's a journal card. So, right, that looks a bit boring, don't it? And I've got a mark on it. Never mind. That's which is my top again. That's my top. So does it does it go in all right? Before I do anything to it. Yep, it's fine. Right. <clears throat> now then. There's on this wrapping paper there is pink, there is I'm not really sure whether that's blue, navy blue or black, or just a dark grey. There's a bit of ready kind of colour. So I'm gonna go with the red envelope as well that I had lying around and I might just do a bit of a matting and layering. I used to do this all the time in card making. Matting and layering. <laughs> right, out comes the guillotine again. Oh. Knock everything off so. So I'm just going to chop that and then I'm going to make sure that you guys can actually see me because I feel like um, I'm working out of the screen in the, at the moment. Right, so that can go on there. Okay. What's that? Should I tap the back off? Yeah, I'm just going to stick it down. And then I want to mat again. Oh, crikey, have I got a straight side of this? Hopefully. That's definitely not straight. So I've got one straight side. Oh, joy. Okay, so I need that to come off by there. And I need that to come off by there. But that isn't even straight itself. So, guillotine again. This is me that said I want using my guillotine. Again, not a fib. Okay, so. And it's hard because I think the top's the only straight bit. Um, where's that mark now? Hmm. I think I might have just cut my mark off. The top's the straight bit, isn't it? Oh, I'm totally lost. <laughs> Hang on, hang on, hang on. What did I just do then? So a little board around. So maybe there. And maybe he's driving me mad. He's driving me mad. Honestly, why? I've been sat downstairs. The other two are out. They went out. He didn't want to go out. He was sat chilling. But now he's like, Mum! Mum! <sighs> be quiet, Kat. Just be quiet. Right, so I think I'm going to fabric tack this because... Oh, yeah, we've got the gloopy glue, haven't we? We've got the gloopy glue. Just come down a tad and straighten you up. Hopefully, without knocking you out with a thing. <clears throat> we've got gloopy glue. Gloopy glue. Oops. Oh, do you know? Be quiet! <laughs> He's very vocal, is Charlie. He is a very vocal cat. Especially when he wants some that, can you tell? I don't know if you guys can hear him, but he's literally sat, I don't know, maybe on the landing or the staircase. Non-stop meowing. Ooh. So, this is just going to go down there. And this is going to go on there. Just simple as that. Ooh, look at that glue. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow. 
they don't come out for days and then we have I mean, I don't know what. Avalanche. Oh, Charlie, be quiet. Driving your mummy insane. And if you drive me insane, then you won't have a mummy and you won't have any cat food. And you won't have the precious, privileged lifestyle that you have. <laughs> spoiled. <laughs> totally, totally spoiled. Right, get the lid on that sharpish. You know when they just don't stop. Right, there we go. I'm going to map layer that, try and get it as straight as I can. So that is really my tag. It doesn't look much like a tag really, does it? So I could cut a tab top out of the red paper. Where's the red paper? Charlie, be quiet. Oh, can you hear him? This is the worst cat video ever. Charlie's stubborn, he's really stubborn. He just will not stop. Um, hmm. I could make a tab top out of this. I could make a tab top out of ginger cat fur. <laughs> it's like, no. Oh, shush, Charles. His real name is Charles Lefleur. And I really shouldn't have called him that because he really thinks he's somebody special. Well, he is special, but I'm just going to do a little... Um... <laughs> I'm going to try and do that. <laughs> That's the bit of a big tab, isn't it? Blimey, do I really want it that big? No, oh, just do it. Just do it. Who cares? Oh, gosh. I keep forgetting it's an envelope and you've got all these other little flappy bits that you don't really want or need. Charlie, shush. Oh, <laughs> Cat sagas. Do I want that bit smaller? It seems really large, but oh, what the heck. Just stick it. Stick it down, stick it down. Yes, I pretty much hate these nights when it's raining because they want you to open the door and you go and open the door and they take one look and be like, Poof, right off out there. But it's like they want you to go to the door every five minutes, you know, just to see if it's still raining. And I'm like, yep, it's still raining. Oh, good grief. Making a right pig's ear of this. Shut up! <laughs> oh, he's doing bedding. In fact, do you know what? He hasn't meowed this much in ages. Except for when you're on a video, of course. Of course. Oh, man, come on. Right, so for the beginners, the next step is your tag's done. If you want to call this done, this is done. If you want something else on there, you can absolutely put something else on there. Me personally, I feel like it just needs something. I'm not 100% sure what that something is, but I feel like it needs something. So I'm just going to put some words on it. Um, you don't have to. Um, if you want to get some words out of a book where you've got your book page, or some words out of a magazine. I've got some here that the very strange ones though. Remembrance of things to come. That really don't kind of make sense. But anyway, I'm going to put that on. <laughs> Even though it don't make sense. Because how you can have a remembrance of something that hasn't happened yet. Yeah, anyway. You can hope for things that haven't happened yet, but how can you have a remembrance of them? But it is from China, you know. It's. I'm just going to slap that there. 
literally there we go and i'm calling that done so that's my tag which is actually a journal card everything gets filthy on my desk it starts off as a nice clean white journal card but then it ends up like really not clean on my other one i had a little butterfly sat on my desk i don't have any more of them so i can't really stick one of them on there but i could stick something on there if i wish um but that's pretty much it I've got to go let the cat out before I kill the cat. <laughs> Not that I would ever, ever kill a cat, really. Please don't think I ever would, because I wouldn't. Um, so I've got that. This looks a bit grotty to me, so I'd kind of maybe like to put something on the corners. But I may just put one of them on and one of them on. Maybe. I think that looks okay. I'm not mad keen on the ribbon, but it's okay. So that's the one that I made previously. Like I say, you can add more to it. Um, I've just added some bits of washi tape in these kind of colours just to add an extra little bit to it. If you don't have washi tape, you don't have to do that. You can just use strips of paper, cut off bits. We've all got cut off bits. But that's basically, <laughs> that's basically it just a big window pocket made out of an envelope made out of a book page a bit of wrapping paper and a couple of colored envelopes so i hope you enjoyed that i'm now going to kill the cat i'm not really i'm going to let him out and come back upstairs so i can't see him through the window i can't hear them and i can have a bit of peace so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed that little project very quick very easy it's been done a million times before, but I was just showing you how to make a bigger aperture and just something really simple. Thank you for watching, everyone. See you soon. Bye.